If I could teach the world one thing about science, it would be that there is no mind-brain duality. This separation, this dichotomy, is based on the assumption that there exists something, a mind that's separate from the brain. In my field of cognitive neuroscience, our thinking is really based on the assumption that the mind is an expression of activity in the brain. And so, so the two things, mind and brain, are completely inseparable. So not only can the brain affect the mind, so drugs, for example, can change brain, the brain structure and therefore alleviate, for example, depression, but also your, your mind can affect your brain, so you can engage in behavioral therapy, which helps you change your thought patterns, which leads to changes in brain structures, which also leads to an alleviation of, for example, depression. I think it frightens people to think that all of these higher level processes like consciousness and love and um, come out of, of, of chemical reactions and, and processes in the brain. But, but those things are still happening. I mean, you know, that's how we experience these physical changes that are occurring in our brain. And so it's not that they're any less real or that they're any less important. It's just that the basis of them is, is something different to what people imagine. Basically, if, if you can learn to control your own inner experience, then you can fundamentally alter your experience of life.